What up, y'all? What's going on? Okay, now we got the because you know we do the battle rap analysis over here. Shout out to Pit TV. The the episode is done. We just waiting for the finances to come across next week, and y'all have one of the best episodes, fucking ever, nigga. I don't care if they got more subscribers than me. This this episode right here is the greatest episode ever, nigga. This like this like Apple, nigga. Get on the bottom floor while it's popping. All right, check it out. Shout out to Pit TV. You know what we're doing. We got our on the road trip, so we about to make another channel in a little bit. We all good over here. Let's start with this battle rap shit. Okay. You got Hitman Holler. And you got Bill Collector. First thing I got to say, why do battle rappers always pick names that you can flip the fuck out of? Okay, now. Let's bring it back a little bit. Okay. Now, you know Hitman Holler got his brother named Show Off, right? Now, when Show Out, Show Off, whatever you want to call it, nigga, Show, for short, he, he gonna bang for his brother, you feel me? Like, like he's a prompt, yeah, true. What Bill Collector said, yeah, he is a prompt, because he uses them a lot when he do the um, rewinds and, the, and, the, um, and those big moments in the battle, we get all that, but um, basically, Bill Collector was on Twitter, Talking about how he was going to rob this nigga when he see him. Um, and I agree with Hitman on that, nigga. Like, you can't say that. That takes it out of the realm of battle rap, nigga. We just got to crush your fucking face because you see that shit. Because especially when we meet on neutral ground. And he talking about he was there for a month. They just came for a day. But if you look at the, um, if you look at the footage after he got his ass knocked out, Hitman's telling the truth, yeah. And then all he want to say is, oh, how he's in his brother's shadow and all that bullshit. But the battle itself just came out, what, six, seven hours ago. And Bill Collector lost. Not saying Bill Collector can't come with some shit, but his only angle was the fact that he got knocked the fuck out. And we and remember when Eminem was battling Machine Gun Kelly, well, let me reverse that. Machine Gun Kelly was better than Eminem because it really wasn't no battle. I don't care what nobody say. You feel me? So, what you do is, like, in that battle, Machine Gun Kelly kept letting Eminem know he great, but it's time to pull him off his pedestal. But in this battle, Bill Collector just kept going on and on and on about show knocking his ass out. And, um... It was a lot of Kevin Hart lines. Remember when he was talking about how his dad got his ass beat? And he was like, how many people was it? Was it a thousand? It's that same thing. So all of his jokes and antics really didn't help him none because he got knocked the fuck out. And um, I believe it, man, on this, but it's hard to. It's only one nigga, and that nigga's smaller than him too, bro. I don't know. But... There really wasn't no, there wasn't no reason for him to win that. He kept harping on it. He didn't use a, he didn't use a rebuttal that was useful for this battle. So it got me kind of scared when I was watching it. But I already know him, man, going win because you know he was up and this nigga was the underdog. But um, watch this footage and y'all understand what I'm talking about. I'll come back with more commentary right after. Let's get it. <laughs> Man, this 
part of rap, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking at your ass, nigga. I got snuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what happened. That's how it goes, my nigga. That's life. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I lie to shit. I talk too much shit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like this not bad. You know what I'm saying? So, you know? Now, y'all saw his face. This nigga face fucked up. Um, was it Mav Hoffa? I think it was Mav Hoffa. That disaster knocked out. Because he was like, I just punch you in the face. I dare you. I dare you. And he punched him in the face. Have you ever noticed when they re when they rematch these battles where somebody actually got physically hurt? Don't nobody punch nobody the second time? And you be like, well, why is that? Because, do you know how much they pay these niggas to get back in front of each other without punching each other? So, of course, I wouldn't punch you the second time. But just like when Cassidy was battling disaster, he told a nigga to his face, he said, I double dog dare you, I triple dare you. And he wasn't going to punch him. I wouldn't either. Shit. He was in the PGs, which is proving ground for y'all niggas that don't know. And if you're popping shit in the PGs, man, I don't know, but the best thing he had going for him was that um, show was in Hitman's shadow, but that's not true. Everybody's in somebody's shadow. There wouldn't be no Jermaine without Michael, you know what I'm saying? Same shit. But... Show a real nigga. That nigga don't be smiling or nothing. Because I guess he the intimidator. You feel me? So I guess that's what happened. But I want to know why the fuck did they set these shits up to be egging these niggas on? No damn well they ain't going to punch nobody. They no damn well that's not going to happen on blood. And all the damn engines was not going to help you win this battle. When every other line was gone, I still punched you the fucking face. And then my thing is this, too. If he punch you in the face, why the fuck don't you swing back when you get up? This nigga does not swing. He didn't even think to swing. This shit was stupid, bro. Alright, I'm trying to get pit on the live stream so y'all y'all can see what we doing over here. But pit told me not to, man. Cause niggas be over here biting, you know what I'm saying? They gonna ride a bitch real good for this. Man, it's the greatest animated shit ever, nigga. I'm talking Walt Disney. Call me Charlotte Disney, this bitch. It's about to be ill, bro. And the reason why I say it's one of the best videos that will ever be put on YouTube, fuck that shit. It's cuz, man. It's a tribute video, man. We, we got a lot to talk about. And the best way to do it is with animation. Because, you know, you can die in animation and ain't nobody worried about it. Because you'll be back the next episode. So I wanted to bring some reality to animation. And that's what we about to do, man. So make sure you lock up in this shit. It's going to be ill, man. Follow me on my channels. Um, hit me on the Instagram, Lucifer Lucy 666 Make sure you follow the Homie Pit TV. Make sure you follow Cartoon Management, because I wouldn't be in this game without them niggas. Um, and that's on game, you know what I'm talking about? But, uh... Yeah, that's why niggas don't be punching nobody. Because Cassidy double dog this nigga to do it. And if you notice, the niggas that punch people always got other niggas with them. 
and the niggas that get punched only come with two niggas. But I could also see why he thought it was a hundred niggas. Cause did you see the way his face looked? He looking like Cardi B up in this bitch. Remember that knot she had on her, on her head? Her shit was swole up, wasn't it? Somebody hit her with a stiletto to the left. Look, man. Well, this nigga should have seen him being robbed, but nigga, when he see it. Especially when you got show in your artillery. That little nigga came out of jail, hopped in the battle, and punched somebody. He don't get no fucks, allegedly. No fucks. Shit, if I ever battle Hitman, I gotta bring a couple armies with me, because ain't nobody daring me. I'm punching them like that. For the views, nigga, world star this shit. But also, I'm gonna be talking all that shit. I ain't got no Twitter fingers, nigga. I got a Twitter account, I don't even be posting on that dumb shit. Because I don't like texting, basically. Because niggas read it how they want to read it, instead of how it's written, you feel me? So, that's why I'm gonna be tweeting, you hear me? But, uh, yeah, I knew my man was gonna win that battle, let alone the fact that. The other dick nigga sucked and kept harping on the fact he got punched. But damn, y'all see his face. I could have been harping on that for a whole year. His face was fucked up. He was stuffed up against this nigga. That, that nigga was sleeping. That nigga was a Pikachu on the floor, just out. And he took a little nigga jumped him. Uh, it looked like they did, but I don't think they did. I think that punch knocked him into some shit. He got up, fell into some old shit. You know, like a Steve Vertical skit. You know, just keep falling. And it's like, nigga, keep your balance. Oh, I forgot. He knocked you off your equilibrium, nigga. Put you on the floor, son. And then, check this out. Even when Mav Hoffa got punched by disaster, everybody got up and started swinging. And have you ever noticed that when a battle rapper claim a gang, they bring the gang with them? So if you on Twitter talking all that greasy shit and you don't think what the nigga got is real, then you deserve to get punched in your motherfucking face. And that's on Bill Collector, baby. Leave it in the comment section. This year I'm trying to go to the proving ground because I should have enough subscribers if y'all meet me in New York. And we do a meet and greet, nigga. I will have the thing on me, bro. I ain't trying to go out like Christina. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to have that thing on me. Because y'all niggas be wildin'. It's your video. Don't take it personal. Because niggas will get shot. And that's not a threat. I, I watch around me, nigga. Y'all already done shot one YouTuber. Killed us. So y'all ain't killing me, nigga. Because I don't give a fuck how gangster a nigga is. Have you ever heard when somebody gets shot... Don't nobody re had no return fire, nigga. Nigga shot at me twice. I sent 22 bullets. It ain't the fact that you got shot at all, you duck. It's the fact you didn't return no bullets. And you talking all gun buck shit, you feel me? So no. When I'm in that proving ground next year. And I'm in them wild, you know what I'm saying? I'm from there. That's, that's the hood, though. But um, I'm still keeping the thing on me, bro. Shit, I might even call show to meet me out in case nigga want to pop off. Because you know Hitman will lean on you. 